Welcome to the Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we'll focus on security use cases that customers can solve with Google Cloud. My name is Aspen Cheryl, and I'm a cloud security architect at Google. Today, we're discussing VPC service controls, VPCSC for short, our solution for preventing data exfiltration from managed services in Google Cloud. And specifically, we'll be discussing VPCSC's recently launched support of private IPs in the context of a shared VPC use case. With shared VPC, the complexity comes from the way shared VPCs work in Google Cloud. In the past, our recommendation has always been to include both the host project and all the service projects in one perimeter. This works well for the majority of customers, but some customers, especially in highly regulated industries, might have use cases where they need to divvy up their shared VPC into multiple parameters. Let's look at a sample architecture to help explain the problem. When you spin up a shared VPC, the host project owns the network including the subnets that you then share out to their respective service projects as appropriate. When VPCSC is evaluating a request to a managed resource, it checks if the source network belongs to a project that is part of its perimeter. If you try to put a service project in a perimeter by itself, meaning without the host project, because the host project technically owns the VPC, requests from that service project's own VMs appear to be coming from outside the perimeter. And until now, we didn't have a good way to allow list those service projects' own VMs into their own perimeters. But with private IP, we have more granular options for shared VPC architectures. Now, if the need exists to divvy up service projects into multiple perimeters, we can do that. We do that by allow listing in the private CIDR ranges of the subnets shared with specific service projects into their respective perimeters by specifying the private IP range coming from the host project. Here's an example where I've segmented up my environment into high and low trust perimeters. I can now allow list specific private ranges for a given service project from the host project via the shared VPC network. Now, I've still got the host project in a perimeter because I don't want those workloads to be able to exfil data out via managed services from the host project. Let me demonstrate configuring one of these rules. First, I'll create an access level for the service project's workload. I'll scroll down and select private IP, and now I need to identify the VPC we want to allow this private traffic from. Since this is a shared VPC environment, we want to select that shared VPC. Now I've got a few options here. I can browse for VPCs in my org or manually enter my VPC network address, or if I have a lot of ciders, I could upload a properly formatted CSV. For our purposes, I'll browse for VPCs and select my shared VPC host project, and then my shared VPC. Now, since I'm allow listing flows from a project in my org, in this case, the host project, I can use the built-in subnet picker to select the subnet that is shared with my service project. All right, we can see that my environment is now segmented into micro perimeters, so I'm going to go into my high trust perimeter come down to my ingress policies. I will say any identity, you can scope this as desired, but my source is going to be the access level that we just created. And since these are the IPs belonging to the subnet shared with the service project, I'm going to say that we have access to all projects and all services. And again, if you have a use case for it, you can scope this as desired. Now, I also want to demonstrate creating an egress rule so that subnets VM traffic can egress out of the host project perimeter and into that high trust service project perimeter. So I'll edit my host project perimeter. I'll go down to egress policy and add a rule. 
I'll select any identity and then enable access level egress sources. And I want to select that same access level that we used in the ingress rule for the high trust perimeter. Now I also want to scope this rule so that traffic can only access the high trust service project. So I'll add service project one. And I want all services, so I'm ready to save my configuration. To recap, private IP support will give more granular options for VPCSC architecture. I will call out that Google Cloud's best practice recommendation is still to use a macro or mega perimeter, as that is by far the easiest to manage and scale. But if you have a specific use case that dictates segmenting up your shared VPC into multiple perimeters, private IP now gives you more flexibility and granular control to do so. To learn more about VPCSC, watch our other videos or visit our product pages here.